Good morning. How's it going this morning? Good. Do you know what this weekend is? It's Labor Day. That's right. You, you are aware of your calendars. It is Labor Day, and this is a pretty exciting day. Though I don't know that it's a day that many of us wait for. It's a day that sometimes we want to push off because it often means that we're, well, summer's coming to an end. This is how we think of it anyway. School's getting ready to start. Have any of you started school already? A few of you have. You're already going back to school. Well, what's next on the calendar? What are you waiting for? What's coming up next? Thanksgiving, that's right. Thanksgiving will be, that's the next big holiday. Anything else? Halloween, yeah, that one's in there. All Saints Day is probably on your list. <laughs> and he, Christmas is also there. We've named, we've hit pretty much the big ones. We wait for these because they're fun days usually, aren't they? Uh, Halloween, we get candy. Thanksgiving is a great time to get together. Uh, have good food. Christmas, what do you get at Christmas? Anything? Toys. Toys, often, yeah, this is right. This is... This is really nice. And so we wait for these days. And sometimes it seems like they take forever to come here. It seems like Christmas is a long ways away, doesn't it? Well, God had a promise for a man named Abraham. And Abraham waited a long time to get this promise as well. We heard the story. We'll hear it, we'll hear it retold in just a few minutes. Uh, Abraham and his wife Sarah had to wait a long time for this promise, longer than you'll have to wait for Christmas, uh, for many years actually. Uh, but God was faithful and came through and gave what he promised, which was a son whose name was Isaac. Now we have some cards for you and uh, we're going to give them. They're trading cards that have Abraham on one side and, and uh, everyone in the congregation can see what, that, what the cards look like. And on the other side, some statistics about Abraham uh, and Sarah. When I was young, we collected football cards, and they had the picture of the football player on the front side, and then all the vital information on the back. Uh, and this, these are kind of like those. Thank you for passing those out. These are yours to keep to remind you that God, when he gives a promise, is faithful. And so now God has actually given you a promise beyond this card, beyond toys for Christmas, but he's actually given you a promise that you have right now, and that is that you are his child through Jesus Christ, and that he holds you closely today and every day and will always do this. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you are a God who gives promises and that you have held us and you hold these, your children, in a promise of Christ. May they know that they are yours. Bless them this day. Bless their families. Bless all who are here in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for coming up. You can go back and sit with your families.